How's it going guys? Jerry here and welcome to yet another Pokemon Oras Wi-Fi battle. Today I bring to you a mixed tier battle with a friend of mine known as Deandra. She is someone that casually comes to my streams and she is someone that's actually very very friendly so I'll go ahead and put her Twitter in the description below. She's really into VGC so if you guys like VGC then you guys can maybe go ahead and challenge her to a VGC battle but today we are going to be having like I said before a mixed tier battle and I really don't know what to expect because she told me on Twitter that she's going to bring a sort of awkward team. So awkward has a lot of definitions and categories so who knows we might run into something that is kind of super surprising so I'm going to go ahead and put uh, music 21. I don't know what that is. I think that's the um, Zinnia theme song I believe. 21 is Zinnia's theme song I do believe. Medicham, Galvantula, Arcanine, Honchkrow, Wormadam, and an Espeon. So it's a pretty standard, well it's not standard but it's UU for sure. It is definitely UU. Five out of her six Pokemon are UU pokes. And that kind of scares me since I'm, for the most part, using RU stuff. So I predict to, uh, I, I, blah, blah, blah. I predict her to lead off with um, Galvantula. Which in turn makes me want to lead off with either Cobalion or Electivire. And I think, judging by his team now, or by, I call Deandra a him. Judging by her team uh, I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Evire because Evire can pretty much put a stop to Galvantula with Motor Drive. And all Galvantula can do is just set up Web. That's pretty much all it can do. So I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Electivire. Predicting, to her, predicting her to lead off, if I can speak correctly, predicting her to lead off with Galvantula. I hope, okay she is going to lead off with Galvantula. I predicted that from a mile away which is fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and put out, e e I can't speak for whatever reason, it's kind of late, it's like almost midnight, so I am a little tired. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and lead, lead off with Electivire, she's going to go and lead off with Galvantula. I really have no other choice but to go for an EQ. I don't want to switch out, so I'm going to go ahead and EQ here. I am Scarf, for those of you that are wondering, I do run a Scarfed Evire. She's going to go ahead and lay off her, uh, lay on her sticky web. By the way, I apologize. If I stutter or whatever, it's kind of late, you guys. And, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I can say. So I'm going to go ahead and go for another EQ. She might switch out into something else. Attempting to preserve her Galvantula. She is not. Okay, now luckily, hopefully she does not know this, but I do have a Hitmonchan with Rapid Spin. So whenever the opportunity presents itself, I'm going to go ahead and use Hitmonchan and Rapid Spin the web away. She's going to... Hmm. Alright, so I'm assuming she sent out Arcanine to get the Intimidate off. Now, I don't want to go ahead and Earthquake in case this thing survives. And I predict it will. So I am going to go ahead and switch out of here. And maybe go into Granbull or Slowking. I think Granbull is... The better play because, well I don't know, is Granbull the better play? I think it is the better play because it's going to be less predicted. So I'm going to go ahead and go out into Granbull here. On top of that, I also have Intimidate with Granbull. So whatever this thing decides to go for, it's going to do less than it would have normally. Now I don't mind getting stuck in the web because Granbull is already slow as dirt as it is. Gonna go for the Willow. Okay, now luckily enough, I do have Heal Bell, which is fantastic. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and go for a Thunder Wave here. Um, I can go ahead and Heal Bell whenever I want. She's gonna go ahead and withdraw. Hopefully she goes out into Medicam. That would be amazing. Mirror, I don't know who this is. Espeon. Now, judging by the name, it has Magic Bounce. Alright, so Espeon, Espeon. Uh, is this going to be the Light Clay Espeon? Is this going to be Offensive Espeon? I really don't know. And by the way, I do want to mention this. Shiny Espeon is probably the ugliest shiny known to man. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and get out of here because Granbull can't really touch this Espeon. 
I can go out into Slowking because Slowking has an Assault Vest. In the case that this thing is offensive, I can take any one hit and then retaliate back. Now again, I don't care about the web because Slow King is pretty slow enough as it is. I'm going to go ahead and go for a Scald. Calm Mind. That's going to be kind of problematic. I do hope I get the burn. That would be amazing because residual damage is residual damage. It might matter in the end. It might not. Who knows? But I'm going to go ahead and go for Scald anyway in case I do get the burn. That still does a lot provided she did go for a uh, Calm Mind. Honestly, I am very scared to go out into anything else. So I'm going to go ahead and keep on Scalding. She's going to go for a Wish. Now, can I please get a Burn? That would be lovely. Please, game, reward me with a Burn, por favor. Burn, Burn, Burn. I know. Get Burn. All right, whatever. All right, so she went for a Wish. And with that in mind, I can easily go out into Electivire since I am Scarfed and Outspeed and go for a Wild Charge. Wild Charge might be enough to knock out. Alright, come on. I'm going to hope that Wall Charge is enough to... She's going to go for another Calm Mind. So, did she predict that? If she did, that's a very good play. I think Electivire is now back to... Well, Electivire, because of the web, is at normal speed. And I think Espeon, Espeon outspeeds outright anyway. So, it doesn't really matter. I kind of fucked up here. Evire is going down for sure. I could have played that better. Yeah, I don't really see myself winning this battle anymore. I fucked up tremendously there. Yeah, I fucked up tremendously there. I did not get the burn. If I got the burn, that would have helped out a lot in the end. Alright, I'm gonna eat the I'm gonna eat up that psychic no matter what. It doesn't really matter. This thing can't probably can, this thing can't touch me. What is that? Protect the wish? Calm mind. Gonna go for another wish. Can I please get a burn? 30% chance of burn. It doesn't really look that way. Thank you. Finally. Thank you, game. I love you. Alright. So I got the burn, which is amazing. Residual damage is residual damage in the end. Um... I can't really switch out into anything else. I have to keep going for Skull here. I really can't do anything else. Protect is obvious. I have to stay in with Slowbro and keep going for Scalds. That's my only game plan right now. How much PP does Wish have? Is it 5? I really hope it is 5. Alright, so... I'm gonna keep going for Wish. Now, I hate playing these games. Stall is one aspect of Pokemon that I despise. I just can't stand Stall. So the Protect is incredibly obvious. I don't really care. I'm going to keep going for Scald because that's all I can do. I will stay here with Slow King until that Espeon runs out of Wish. And people that come to my stream know that I do not like Stall. So she's going to go ahead and switch out of Espeon. Going to go out into Big Boss which is Haunchcrow. Can I get another burn? I cannot. I can go out into Cobalion. I'll go out into Cobalion. I'm pretty sure Cobalion can take any one hit this thing wants to dish out. Pursuit! I guess I really had... Moxie. That is frightening. Um... I guess Granbull here. Fuck.
I'm gonna have to go for a heal bow here. Tailwind? Tailwind Honchcrow is a thing? What on earth? I lost Slow King. So I can't really do anything to fucking Arcanine. I lost Evire. I can't Earthquake Arcanine. I'm pretty much SLO here, guys. Brave Bird? Please tell me you can eat this up, Gramble. Intimidate? Come on. Eat it up, Gramble. Alright, this play rough should knock it out. Please don't miss. Thank you. Alright, down goes Honchcrow. Honchcrow is terrifying. That Tailwind is also terrifying. I am making some stupid plays here. Well, first of all, I wasn't even expecting Tailwind Honchcrow to be a thing. Gandhi, Medicham. I can switch out and come back in. No big deal. I'm just gonna go and switch out when, uh, whenever the the opportunity presents itself, just for that Tailwind to peter out. I still have not had a chance to rapid spin away the fucking spider web. Or sticky web, I should say. Alright, so Meta Mega Cham is uh, obviously a bit. The uh, ob obvious is obvious. Fake out. That's fine. I don't want to go for a T wave because I'm scared of Espeon coming in. I can go for a Stealth Rock for the Arcanine. I'm gonna go in Volt Switch. Drain Punch. That's gonna do a lot. That's gonna do a lot. Alright, Volt Switch. Get me out of here. I'm just doing this for the, uh... I'm doing this for the, for the, uh, Sticky Whip so it could peter out. My ticket to victory here, I think, is going to be Mega Pidgeot. I think. It might have to come to Mega Pidgeot winning this game for me. Alright, so Tailwind does peter out, which is amazing. And I'm going to go for a play rough here, as it's my only option. Going to withdraw Gandhi, go out into Arcanine, I believe. No, going to go out into Espeon. Interesting. Play rough is not going to knock out, but maybe the burn will. Nope, play rough is going to knock it out. Okay, cool. So somehow we've managed to come back into the game. I don't know how we managed to do that, but we are back in the game. Gonna go out into Tiger. Alright, now here I don't know what to do. I can go out into something and sack. I can go out into Hitmonchan actually. Well, no, it doesn't really matter. Do I really need Hitmonchan? What does he have left? What does she have left? I keep calling her he. Uh, Arcanine. Metacham. What else does she have left? Arcanine, Metacham. I don't know. Are you kidding me? Is my memory that bad? I don't know. Alright, uh, I can go out into Hitmonchan, get a Mach Punch for some damage. She might go for a Willow or she might just go for a Flare Blitz here. So I'm gonna take that chance and go for an EQ. Although, no I'm not, no I'm not. I'm gonna go out into Hitmonchan. But then again, she does have E-Speed. That's a thing. And I might actually need Hitmonchan. So that was a pretty dumb play on my part. I don't know why I did that. She can go for a Flare Blitz. There it is. Now, I do take that pretty well. And she is... She's Leftovers. Okay. So she is the defensive Arcanine set. So I'm assuming she has Morning Sun, Will-O-Wisp, Flare Blitz, and E-Speed. I'm going to go ahead and Mach Punch here. She's probably going to f going to go for the E-Speed now. No, she's not. She's going to go for another Flare Blitz. Or maybe a Morning Sun. Who knows? She is going to go for another Flare Blitz. That's good in two respects. One, she's going to go and take some recoil damage. And secondly, that might force her to go for a Morning Sun. 
which I can get a free Earthquake off of Granbull. So that's good. Again, I don't really care about the sticky web because I am slow enough as it is. Now I'm gonna also get the Intimidate off and I can go for an EQ here. I guess I could have also gone for a Thunder Wave. She's gonna go for a Morning Sun, all right. Hopefully this EQ does about half. I'm not invested in attack whatsoever and it is a defensive Arcanine, so I really doubt it's gonna, it's not gonna do anything. Fuck. All right, so we are in a bit of a pickle here. Um, I can go for T-Wave. Do I want to go for T-Wave? I think I want to go for T-Wave. Well, oh, that's fine. I'm not going to go for an EQ anyway. I'm going to go for a T-Wave here. Because now if I want to go out into Mega Pidgeot, I have an off chance that it's going to actually be paralyzed. And if I wanted to, I could just heal Bell away the burn. So it's, it's totally cool. I'm gonna heal Bell here. On the off chance that she gets fully paralyzed. I'm gonna go for a Flare Blitz. She's gonna take some recoil damage, which is fantastic. And that just means that I can go ahead and go for an EQ. She can knock me out next turn if she wants. It's completely up to her. I outspeed regardless because uh, Arcanine is paralyzed. So I can go for an EQ. It's going to leave it in the yellow. Mega Pidgeot can come and just go for a Hurricane. And that should be enough to knock out. I mean, who knows? She can get fully paired. That was a crit. It wasn't a crit. Look at that. Okay, so I got lucky there with the fully, uh, with the fully paralyzed Arcanine. Uh, this Earthquake, hope I really doubt it's going to knock it out. Uh, if we get lucky and get a crit, that would be lovely as well. But I don't like to put my faith in critical hits. That is going to knock out. Fantastic. So Arcanine is down. One of the major threats on our team is out. Her entire theme consisted of threads. She had an RU Pokemon as well in there. She had a Wormadam. She also had a Wormadam. I can't forget about that. Alright, so here's the Metacham. I don't want to take a Fake Out. So I'm going to go out into Cobalion. I don't need Cobalion anymore. So I can go out into Cobalion. I can sack this thing off because I'm not going to need it. The cable to my headphone is... Stuck on my leg. Or who knows? She might go for the Drain Punch. She is going to go for the Fake Out. Okay. And I don't really care. Uh, I don't need Cobalion anymore. It's fine. You can knock this thing out. Alright, so what might this thing have? Ice Punch, Fake Out, Drain Punch, and Bullet Punch perhaps? That seems to be the most common set. That was a crit. She didn't need it. Alright. So it's now down to Gramble and my Pidgeot. Gramble hopefully will take one hit. Um, Probably not a bullet punch. Maybe a bullet punch thanks to the Intimidate. Let's go for a play rough here. Don't miss please. She's going to go for a bullet punch. Please live, 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 live. Thank you, Gramble, for living. Don't miss this play rough. It connects. It's going to go down. I think we have this in the bag. She has a warm item left. I have Mega Pidgeot. It has Heat Wave. I think we're good. I think we are good in that respect. You can go ahead and knock this thing out. I really don't care. I'm going to go for an EQ. Gunk shot, that's fine. That is fine. I have Mega Pidgeot in before this thing is scarfed. <laughs> Alright, Pidgeot, come on out. 
Honestly, I think Gramble was the MVP of today's battle. Gramble did everything. Without it, I wouldn't have won. Here's Mega Bird Jesus. Heat Wave should knock this thing out in one hit, unless it has Sturdy, which I hope it doesn't have. It has Sturdy. Or Focus Ash? Skill Swap. Uh, what? Uh, okay. Skill Swap. For the final move of the battle, Skill Swap? I'm not really sure if I agree with that play. That was an interesting way to end off a battle for sure. I don't really agree with Skill Swap being her final move. More power to her though. <laughs> Anyways, you guys, that was an intense battle provided her awkward team. If you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to leave a like down below. Likes are very much appreciated. And if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed what you saw, please don't forget to subscribe because subscribing helps out a ton as well. But anyways, you guys, once again, thank you so very much for watching. My name is Jerry and until next time, stay awesome.